What's going on guys? Appreciate you stopping by. The AR-15, we all know, is the most popular rifle in America. It is America's rifle, and, and for good reason. And I don't have to go into all that. Many of us have owned and do own many variants of the AR, whether it's a pistol, carbine, rifle, whatever. Uh, one of the things that makes it so popular is all the different configurations, all the different things you can do to personalize it and make it exactly how you want it. As we continue to move forward into this world of insanity, and so many of us can see the writing on the wall and see some pretty uh, treacherous times are likely ahead for us. There's more and more people that are starting to awaken and starting to become aware. And many are saying, you know, I, I got to get ready. And uh, defensive tools are one of those things that uh, it cost, can cost a decent amount of money. By the time you buy a gun and optics and magazines and accessories and ammunition, uh, you can get, get into a ton of money. And there are a lot of YouTubers on here that profess that if you don't buy this one or this one, or if you don't spend this amount of money, you might have well put a bullet in your own head because you're just not going to make it. You're not going to survive the zombie apocalypse. You're going to get bitten and you're going to become one of them. And in my experience, and I can only speak from my experience, that's just simply not the case. And there, there's a lot of AR snobs out there that uh, these bugs out here are driving me crazy. That, again, if you don't get this brand and spend this amount of money, forget it. You, you're just wasting. It's just a waste. In the AR world... There's been a few brands that uh, people have said are less desirable, let's say. Let's be nice. And Bear Creek Arsenal out of North Carolina is one of them. And just recently, I started uh, discovering Bear Creek again. I went to their website, and I was simply amazed at, at the selection, the options, the choices that they had. Uh, read a little bit about Bear Creek and uh, discovered that they do almost all the manufacturing in-house. A very large facility in North Carolina. And the number of calibers that they offer, I mean, it was, I, 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 again, I was very surprised. And the price, the price point that they offer their products is is just fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic, and I'm, I'm really surprised that I haven't kind of come around to them sooner. So, I managed to pick up one of their BC-15 rifles. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. And I just looked before recording this, and this particular rifle is selling for $352 right now. Just, just unbelievable price. For somebody that is wanting to get into the AR market and, and get themselves an AR, or they're wanting another AR to add to their battery, to their arsenal, $352 is just unbelievable. Now, is it any good? I don't know. I've got it sitting here. Let me pull this thing over. So I've got this thing sitting over here, and uh, I just went, I had, had it transferred to where I'm at, and I picked it up yesterday. So, no, I haven't shot it. I simply have taken it out of the box and have looked at it. And I'm just going to give you my initial impressions. I am going to put 500 rounds through this. And do another video. I'll get some videos of me shooting, giving impressions, and whatever happens, happens. I'm gonna tell you honestly uh, if if I have any problems, if I don't have any problems, 
what those problems are. And so here's, here's my initial impression. I'll turn this around so you can see this side. My initial impression is very, very good. Uh, it, it, again, in today's world, this, this is a basic standard AR. You know, it's a carbine. It's got a Bear Creek arsenal. Re really cool looking gra uh, image or graphic that is machined into the side of the lower. Uh, it's just got a big grizzly. Uh, really cool. Uh, model number BCA-15. I uh, believe that this is a 5.56. It says multi-caliber, but the, the upper is 5.56. And uh, the, the standard kind of M4 six-position stock says made in the USA on the side of it. Which, again, at this price point, you know, you'd think you'd be getting these things made in China for, you know, buck 25 each. Overall, you know, again, as I've been looking at this thing, it looks great. It's got the standard, you know, AR pistol grip. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to change some things, but right now, I really like it. Uh, I really like this handguard. This hand, I like slim handguards. Uh, I do have uh, an affection for the old. Uh, M4 or CAR-15 handguards a little bigger around. It's just kind of vintage or classic. But uh, for performance and handling, I like slim handguards that you can get your hand wrapped around. I like shooting with a C-clamp. And I really like this. Um, it's M-Lock. This is uh, a pretty unique flash hider uh, it'll be interesting to see how that performs it's a one and seven inch twist barrel <clears throat> it does have a case or shell deflector uh, which is good it's got a standard charging handle that works it's got forward assist if you remember if you've been around for a while you remember some of the least expensive what was it double star was the brand years ago and when they came out where they were trying to get the cheapest ARs that they could make, they'd get rid of the Ford Assist. So, uh, it does not come with a magazine. Not a big deal. Magazines are cheap. Again, they're trying to provide uh, exceptional value from, from what I can see. So, I, you know, I haven't even worked the charging handle. And I'm just curious, you know, I'm not expecting much from this trigger, but I want to see what it kind of what it feels like. All right, it's a standard, standard mil spec trigger. Yeah, it's nothing special. You know, it's probably five and a half, six pounds. Yeah. So again, right now, this thing's on sale for $352. 352 bucks. Now, if it doesn't shoot, it's not worth $352. So that will be on the next video. But I just wanted to, you know, just share what I got. And uh, if you have any experience with Bear Creek, any real experience, feel free to comment below. Um, but I'm looking forward to uh, putting some rounds down range. Like I said, my plan is shoot 500 rounds. I'm going to use a variety of magazines. I'm going to look at Bear Creek BC-15, way less than 400 bucks. We'll see what happens with it. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Click that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and click that notification bell so you'll find out when I do the final review. We'll see how this thing does. You guys stay safe, take care. We'll see you next time. Known for controversial and unique books, Paladin Press published what many call the professional action library. Paladin was known as a resource for hard-to-find information often considered too dangerous to publish.